Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity. Uh, I just created a playlist uh, for uh, Hadoop certification, Cloudera certified associate for Spark and Hadoop developers. And um, uh, so far I have covered so much of stuff, but um, I want to cover a few more um, things that are important uh, as part of using Cloudera Quick Start VM. And I will be inserting that video, this new video as a third video in this. As part of uh, this CCA using Cloud, uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM, um, I have covered uh, all the components that are important uh, f for the uh, Cloudera certification curriculum or syllabus. So I have covered the, the MySQL database, Scoop, um, HDFS, Spark, um, both uh, Python, uh, PySpark, as well as Scala interfaces for Spark, and uh, also have covered Hive, but I forgot to cover Impala. And also, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, here they have provided the details about what all will be available for you at the time of the certification. So they they will give you Spark, Impala, means they will give you a cluster with uh, CDH5, 5.3.2 .2, um, and uh, it will be preloaded with uh, Spark, Impala, Crunch, Hive, Pig, Scoop, etc. So uh, the version uh, that is, uh, of the cluster they will be providing is different from the Cloudera Quick Start VMs that are available now. Now they are, uh, it, uh, uh, now it only Cloudera or CDH 5.4.x and 5.5.x are available. There is no 5.3. It is significant and you need to understand the differences between the 5.3.2 and the current uh, uh, available quick start VMs, which I will be covering in a moment. And also, um, it uh, uh, even though the certification says only Spark, Impala, Hive, uh, Scoop, uh, etc., uh, there are tools like Hue. If they provide Hue to you, I means as part of this, it seems they will be providing Hue. Um, it will uh, save you a lot of time by using Hue, which is a web interface to run your commands. I will be covering that also as part of uh, this video. And uh, also, I will be covering uh, the Impala, which I did not cover as part of the last video, uh, which is important for the certification perspective. And uh, also they are saying that uh, they will be uh, providing you Sublime Text, which is a text editor. So if you want to type and if you are not uh, comfortable with uh, Linux-based terminals, you can type in uh, Sublime Text, which is regular text editor, and then you can copy paste. And also they provide uh, uh, the IDEs to develop the code, uh, which is IDEA and Eclipse. They they provide you both so if you are interested in practicing those things you can do that and also they provide Scala uh, which is part and parcel of Spark so no need to worry about it and if you are from NetBeans background you can practice using NetBeans also I will not be covering NetBeans or Eclipse or Sublime or IDEA here I will be covering um, uh, Impala and Hue as part of the video and as part of the main course I will be covering Spark with both Scala and Python, Impala, Hive, Scoop, uh, Hue and um, important Hadoop or HDFS commands. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, start looking into Impala. So uh, I launched the uh, virtual machine and you can see that all the services that are required um, are up and running. If you want to run Impala commands, um, at the minimum, you, you should have HDFS, which is here. You should have Yarn. You should have Hive. Then only Impala will work. If any of these com uh, components are not running, then Impala will not work. So if you have uh, a 16 GB laptop, and if you give 8 GB to 10 GB RAM, to Cloudera VM, you will be able to see the Cloudera Manager and you will be able to start the services directly from here. That being said, uh, now Impala is up and running. Even though it's showing red, it's just a warning and there is some health issues because we are using VM and there are not enough resources to 
um, to run with uh, with green icons but that doesn't mean that the cluster or uh, the vm is uh, um, not working even though it shows red it depends upon the other if you are curious you can click on that other and this is just a clock offset which is not a significant other in this case so i'm ignoring it and now i am getting into the terminal so you can click on this and it will launch the terminal and to get into impala you can type impala shell and hit enter it will get into the impala command line interface like you have seen hive here you can run any hive commands uh, the same queries in uh, uh, that run in hive will run in impala without any issues so to list the databases whether it is hive or impala it's show databases and under the covers um, impala uses hive metastore uh, hive metastore is nothing but um, uh, a, a relational database such as mysql which will store uh, metadata of your data which we will see as part of the last component where we will see hive and impala in detail for now uh, just understand that impala depends on hive uh, to compile the queries but the execution framework is completely different from hive we will see all those differences when we actually go to the main course that being said if you want to list the tables you can run show tables command and you can run queries also on top of those tables like departments and if you want to switch to a different database like uh, retail stage of scoop import you can actually do that like this and then type show tables there are no tables if, ta if there are tables and if you want to run queries you can run those things from here as well so this is brief introduction about the uh, another important component that is part of the syllabus of the certification uh, which is impala and now i am exit exiting out of it and uh, going back to the browser when you launch uh, the uh, um, when you launch the cloudera vm um, and when you launch the browser by clicking on this icon you will see bookmarks like this so one bookmark is for cloudera manager which will get in you into the cloudera manager and the other bookmark is you you can click on that and most likely they will give you a yeah, username and password uh, or they will give you some details to log in uh, it it will actually look like this in your vm the username and password uh, is cloudera cloudera so you can just type cloudera cloudera and click on sign in and you will be logging in and then you have all these the different uh, um, different menus on top if you want to access the files in hdfs you can click on file browser and start accessing the hdfs starting from the root um, i will upload detailed videos on hue towards the end of the course but i am just giving you some introduction here uh, so you can use file browser here to access the file system and if you want to run high queries or impala queries you can choose these ones here so in this case if you want to run high queries you can choose high if you want to run impala queries you can choose impala and then here it will list the databases that are available you can choose the database you want and then you can choose the table and get the details you can click on this uh, to get the metadata details of this table and you can click on this to get the preview of the data of, of in your table there are some issues it seems that's fine uh, we will see it later let me try how you how you might work see you can look the preview of the data like this and the next one is data browsers in this uh, you can click on meta store tables and these tables are accessible by both impala and hive uh, it will be same whether you uh, use impala or hive that's why they are not differentiating it as a hive meta store or impala meta store they are only providing one here and also as part of the query editors there is a, a db query you can choose that also and um, then you can start issuing the uh, queries as well means queries against your mysql database as well 
Anyway, I will try to cover how to add the database and run the queries towards the end of the course. Hue is just a complementary um, because uh, uh, if you are not very comfortable with command line interfaces, you can actually use uh, the web interface and uh, run the queries directly from here. That's why I'm emphasizing on it, but it is not required uh, for the certification. That being said, I have covered almost all the important components for the certification and now uh, as I have emphasized earlier, there is a difference between the version they will be providing to you and the VMs that are available uh, at this time to download. So the version that is available to you is, uh, let me google it, Cloudera Quick Start VM and if you click on this. you can uh, only choose 5.5 or 5.4 there are no earlier versions i am using 5.4 and uh, they come with uh, different uh, uh, specifications uh, means all the tools that are available as part of uh, this vm uh, specifications are completely different from uh, what they will be providing uh, for your certification uh, under 5.3.2 so they they have given details here the major difference is uh, when it comes to scope which I have already covered as part of the certification in the subsequent videos. Um, let me do the scope version here. So scope version it's 1.4.5 so the version is same. And uh, then um, uh, when it comes to Spark, uh, they are actually providing 1.2.1. And also one more thing you need to remember is uh, when you actually start giving the exam, only these things will be accessible uh, for you uh, to, to, uh, to give the exam. All the others will not be accessible over the internet like Google and all will not be available. So if you see they are actually giving 1.2.1 documentation for you and uh, also to get uh, the full list of uh, the details details of the full list for the certification here they give um, what they are providing as part of uh, 5.3.2 um, uh, cluster so when it comes to spark it, they are providing 1.2.0 and uh, uh, if you go to the vm and say spark You can see that it is starting with 1.3.0 version which means there is a difference between the versions and unfortunately spark is not um, uh, backward compatible so uh, the queries which run on 1.2.1 will not be running on uh, might not run on 1.3.0 especially uh, something like spark sql running in spark context uh, using data frames is the new component which is added in 1.3.0 so if you try to run uh, uh, the similar queries uh, with in 1.2.1 which does not use data frames those commands or queries will not work so there are significant differences in the versions so instead of using 1.3.0 we should be using 1.2.1 to practice the test so how can we do that we have 1.3.0 uh, but the test request 1.2.1 so i will cover that when i talk about spark how to set up your environment with the appropriate version and also i will do my due diligence before uploading content um, whether it is hive or impala or any other tool like uh, in this case spark and if there are any differences and if uh, if the particular tool is not backward compatible then i will try to um, uh, get uh, the compatible version onto the existing VM. I will provide you the instructions for that so that you can um, use the same Cloudera VM uh, to practice uh, 
using the versions which will be provided to you at the time of the certification and also you can actually uh, go to the VM details and click on install products and uh, it will give you the details about version and download information of each of the tool by if you click on this or you can actually run uh, appropriate commands uh, in in the VM itself to know the version there are many ways to do that uh, I will emphasize that um, at the right time that being said that is it uh, so this is just an add-on video for the previous uh, uh, video which is using cloud era virtual machine for the certification I hope you will enjoy uh, uh, the content on the on this playlist uh, if you are targeting for the cloud era certification if you like this particular video please click on the like button if you have any uh, comments please use the com uh, 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 comment section of the video if you have any technical questions you can either use comment section of the video or you can ask in um, a stack overflow by tagging appropriately and uh, uh, also if you uh, if you want to join uh, in discussions i have created a group called hadoop certifications in linkedin you can send me the request and be part of the group and we can discuss um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.